Okay, we have a kind of new topic this week, but it definitely relates back to last week's topic. Um, so your title for your lesson notes today is multiplying binomials. Multiplying binomials. But before we get into what this is, um, let's quickly go over last week's. What did we practice last week? Hopefully remember it's distributive property. Okay, so distributive property is multiplication. That, that's the operation that you're doing there. So when you would use distributive property is if you had something like a number or possibly a variable right next to a set of parentheses and inside the parentheses you either have a sum or a difference. So addition or subtraction in there. So let's say we had 3x minus 4 inside that parentheses. What distributive property allows us to do is it allows us to take that number outside and since it's right next to parentheses, it's technically multiplying. But we're going to take that 5 and multiply it to every single term inside the parentheses. So 5 times 3x is 15x. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. Now this would be our final answer, 15x minus 20, because these two are not like terms. They don't have the same variable. So that's it. That's us using distributive property to simplify. But <clears throat> we're going to expand on that idea. And here's the type of thing you're going to be looking at this week. So let's keep that set of parentheses. So let's put 3x minus 4. Put that inside parentheses. But instead of just having a 5 in front of it, you actually have a 2x plus 5. Now, if it was just like this, you would still use distributive property and just drop down the 2x and keep going. But the 2x plus 5, we're going to group it up, and we're going to put it in a set of parentheses together. So now what you have is two sets of parentheses next to each other. And that means multiplication. Everything in here has to get multiplied by everything in here. And we're going to write down that statement because it's so important for you to understand that concept. So here's the writing we're going to do today. Here we go. You're going to write nice and big the word each because it's key. Each term. And remember, there's like two terms right here. Each term in the first set of parentheses each term in the first set of parentheses must be multiplied to each notice I capitalize that each term in the second set of parentheses. Okay, so make sure you have that, you know, nice and clear in your notes. I'm going to put a box around it. This is a super important concept and you're just going to build on that concept from here on out. Okay, whether it's in my class or next year. So each term, so the 2x and the 5, each term in the first set have to be multiplied to each term in the second set. So what that means is this 2x has to get multiplied by the 3x, but the 2x also gets multiplied to the negative 4. And then we can't forget about this 5. The 5 has to be multiplied to the 3x, and the 5 has to be multiplied to the negative 4. Okay, so they each kind of have to partner up there. Now, what your parents might remember this as from their high school days, um, 
I'm just gonna say most people know this as, okay, and I'm gonna write down what most people remember this as. There's this kind of phrase that they remember, FOIL. And you're gonna see that FOIL is an acronym, which means each letter kind of stands for something. And it's basically a way to memorize the steps, okay? So um, we're gonna practice FOIL. I'm gonna copy down this one more time, uh, right in here. So we have 2x plus five times 3x minus four. Okay, so let's talk about what FOIL stands for. F. F stands for first. So go ahead and write down that word first. So F stands for first. And what that means is you're going to start by multiplying the first terms in each parentheses together. So 2x is the first term in this set. 3x is the first term in this set. So we're going to start by taking our first terms in each set and multiplying them. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. Okay. Next, we go to this O. The O stands for outside. So go ahead and write down that word, outside. Now the word outside means you're next going to multiply the terms that are on the outsides of the parentheses. So that would be these two numbers right here. They're located on the outside. So 2x is going to multiply by negative 4. So I'm going to show my arrows. 2x times negative 4 is negative 8x. Then we have this i. Okay, hopefully you can kind of maybe guess. We had first, we had outside. What's the opposite of outside? Inside, okay? So you wanna take the terms that are towards the inside of the parentheses. That would be positive five times three x. So I'm gonna write inside real quick. Five times three x is positive 15 x. Okay, and then the final step here, so we had first, outside, inside, what's the opposite of first? Last. So that's what the L stands for right here, last. So we take 5 times negative 4, 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. So you have successfully done FOIL. Okay, and it's still following this goal right here, this rule. Each term, so the 2x and the 5, has to get multiplied by each term in the second set. So each of them were multiplied by each other. Okay? Now, we're not totally done here. There is one last little thing to do. So I'm going to write a little thought bubble over here. I'm going to say, after FOIL... After FOIL, combine like terms. And um, write answer, write final answer in standard form. So if you're not sure what I mean by combine like terms, that means you've skipped some videos. If you're not sure what I mean by standard form, that also means you've skipped some videos, so you're gonna need to go back, okay? Um, so after FOIL, we get to combine like terms. So I look at these terms here, and I see that negative 8x plus 15x can be grouped together, okay? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and drop down my 6x squared because that's not gonna be combined with anything. But negative eight plus 15 is positive seven. So this would be positive seven X. Negative 20 gets dropped down. And my final answer is six X squared plus seven X minus 20. 
Yes, this is in standard form, and remember standard form means highest degree, which is highest exponent, to lowest, okay? So that's FOIL. First, outside, inside, last. It's basically like extreme distributive property. So we'll practice a little bit more. Um, so let's just write practice. Okay. So we'll do two practice questions. Um, all right, uh, at the top, no, I'll do that later. So here we go, number one, x minus two times five x plus one. And I should probably mention why your lesson is called multiplying binomials. Well, you have two sets of parentheses next to each other, which means you're multiplying. And binomials, remember bi means two, so that means there's two terms in each parentheses, and that's true. There's two terms here, two terms here. So that's why the lesson is called multiplying binomials. Okay, so our first step in FOIL was to multiply the first terms together. x times 5x is 5x squared. Next step in FOIL was O, which stands for outside. So I'm going to multiply the outside terms. That would be an x and the 1. x times 1 is just 1x, and I'm just going to write it as x. Next we go to I, which is inside. So we're going to multiply the inner terms, which is a negative 2 with a positive 5x. Negative times positive is negative, so that'd be negative 10x. And then the L in FOIL stands for last. So you're going to multiply the last terms in each parenthesis. So negative 2 times positive 1 is negative 2. So we use FOIL, but now you have to simplify it. So we're going to go ahead and combine x minus 9x, and we have a final answer of 5x squared. 1 minus 10 is negative 9, so that's negative 9x minus 2. Final answer, and yes, it's in decreasing form, so it's in standard form. Okay. Um, I think you should try this next one. So pause it, see what you get. So we have, first set of parentheses, you have 4x minus 3. Timesing by the quantity, which means it's grouped up, grouped up in parentheses, 4x plus 3. Similar. Okay, let's see what happens in this case. Pause the video, do your first outside, inside, last, do FOIL, see what you get as your simplified answer. Okay, here we go. First, 4x times 4x is 16x squared. Go to my outside terms. 4x times 3 is positive 12x. Next, I multiply my inside terms. Negative 3 times 4x is negative 12x. And then my last terms, negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9. Okay, so we successfully did FOIL. Now we combine like terms. I see that I can combine negative or positive 12x with negative 12x. 12x minus 12x. What is that? Well, 12 minus 12 is 0. 0x zero is just 0 which it means it cancels. Those two cancel out to nothing. So our final answer is 16x squared minus 9. Okay, so most of the time when you multiply two binomials, you'll get a trinomial as your answer, which means your answer will have three terms. Okay, but every once in a while, depending on the case here, you're going to get um, possibly a binomial out of it if something cancels. Okay, so honestly, I hope that's enough explanation for FOIL and what you would need to do is go practice it on Delta. But on Delta, I actually have two different ways to multiply binomials. This was the way I was taught, FOIL. 
But I want to show you another strategy because um, as elementary school students, you guys learn to multiply using, it's called the lattice method, which um, move it. you don't need to write this down, but just kind of watch. Lattice method for multiplication, like if you had a 20, oops, 24 times uh, 13. Now, I learned how to multiply this a certain way, and your parents did, but I think most of you, and I could be wrong, I think most of you learned this little box method, okay? And where 20, you can write it as the product of 20 and 4, right? 20 plus 4 is 24. 13, you can write 13 as 10 plus 3. And then you would multiply um, each row by each column. 10 times 20 is 200. 10 times 4 is 40. 3 times 20 is 60. 3 times 4 is 12. And then what you would do is you would add up all of these products. So 200 plus 40 plus 60 plus 12. Well, 200 plus 40 is 240. 240 plus 60 is 300. 300 plus 12 is 312. So what that means is 24 times 13 is 312. Now this is not the way I was traditionally taught multiplication, but it works, it definitely works. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna apply it to um, multiplying binomials here. So in your notes, you can maybe just write something like, some people prefer the, and then here's what we're gonna call it. It's traditionally called lattice method, but a lot of times we just are kind of lazy. We call it box method. And um, honestly, you'll get a pick which method you want, but for Delta, I'm gonna have you practice both because it's good for you to understand both, especially because this box method you're gonna see later on in your Algebra 3-4 class. So um, we're, we're gonna show that right here. And I'm gonna use this same problem as above, which means we should still get this as our answer. So um, let's go ahead and write down, I'll write it in the same color. We had 2x plus five in the first set times by 3x minus 4. Okay, so once again, that's the same problem as the one on the first page. But we're going to use the box method. So here's what you do. We're going to create this little table box thing. Um, and how you know rows and columns is there's two terms here and two terms here, which means you need to make a 2 by 2 square. 2 by 2 grid. Okay, now, um, just like in our fake example here, we need to know what goes on top, what goes on the side of this box. So um, this first set of parentheses, I'm going to place that on top here. So I have a positive 2x and a positive 5. So I'm going to place that on top. Along the side, I'm going to put what's in the second set, positive 3x and a negative four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that every row gets multiplied by every column. So in this box right here, we're gonna take three x minus, or times two x. Three x times two x is six x squared. Now we're gonna go to three x times five. Place that here. Three x times five is 15 x. Now we go to the second row. Negative 4 gets multiplied by 2x, which is negative 8x. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. So this is a way to organize the multiplication. Now what you would do is you would collect all of these products. 6x squared. That's a positive 15x, a negative 8x, and negative 20. Okay, so we take the sum of all the products that you found, and you would go ahead and you would combine like terms. 15 minus 8 is 7x 
minus 20. So our final answer is 6x squared plus 7x minus 20, which is the same exact answer as doing it the FOIL method, okay? Now, for some of you, this whole arrow thing throws you off. It's too complicated, so I get it. So if the box method is more structured for you and you can see the multiplication better, then do that, okay? You're gonna have to practice both this week, but then after that, you get to pick which method you want. So we're gonna do two more problems and I'm gonna urge you to practice box method, okay? So um, here's your next binomials. We have negative x plus two times three x minus seven. Okay, this is a two by two, it's gonna be a two by two grid because there's two terms in this one, two terms in this one. So let's set up a two by two grid. Okay. Now, um, this is where we place the numbers on top and on the side. Um, the negative x and the two, you could put them on top, but you could also put them on the side. It doesn't really matter, okay? So I'm just gonna place this first set on top. So I have a negative x and a positive two. You could put the plus sign if you wanted to. And then I have a three x and a minus seven. So that's gonna go along the side. Now we go ahead and we multiply through each row times by each column. 3x minus x, or sorry, 3x times negative x is negative 3x squared. 3x times 2, 6x. Negative 7 times negative x is positive 7x. Negative 7 times positive 2 is negative 14. So then you would go ahead and you'd list them all out, but I'm gonna be lazy and I'm just gonna combine like terms right here in my table. These can go together. So my, I drop down, if we want the standard form, which we always do, I drop down the highest degree, so negative three x squared. Seven x plus six x is positive 13 x, and then drop down your negative 14. Final answer, negative 3x squared plus 13x minus 14. Okay, so um, I'm hoping some of you kind of see that this box method really is the same thing as FOIL. It's just a different way to structure your um, work. So like if we were to do FOIL, we would do negative x times 3x, which is right here, negative 3x squared. And then we would do O outside, negative x times negative seven, that's positive seven x. Inside, two times three x, six x. And then the last, two times negative seven, negative 14. So it's the same thing, it's just a different way to structure your work. Last problem, your choice here. You can do FOIL, you can do box method, make sure you pause the video, and then um, go ahead and you can kind of speed it up and check your answer if you want. 2x minus 9 times x plus 10. So use FOIL, use box method, pause it, do it, check your answer. I'm going to go ahead and do another box method just in case you're preferring this. 2 by 2, um, 2x minus nine, I'm gonna put it on top. You could put it on the side if you wanted. X and a positive 10 go there. Now I multiply through, X times two X is two X squared. X times negative nine is negative nine X. 10 times two X is 20 X. 10 times negative nine is negative 90. Lastly, we combine like terms, so I'm gonna be lazy and just do that right there. So my final answer is 2x squared plus 11x minus 90. Boom. So um, this is honestly one of my favorite things in algebra. I love FOIL. I just, it's relaxing to me, which I know is nerdy, but whatever, I'm a math teacher. Um, so hopefully this makes sense. I know I didn't do a ton of examples, but I think from here, you just need to go practice on Delta, okay? 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for working hard. Miss you guys. Bye.